Good morning. It's Christmas Eve. I have a story for you. Once upon a time, there was a girl named Janet who was completely oblivious to flirting. That would be me. This is based on a true story of actual events <laughs> that happened <laughs> this week. Um, so, I'm sure you've all seen porn where the plumber comes to clean the pipes. Well, our plumber is so hot, okay? Like, so hot. So, my husband instantly looks at him and when he came over for the assessment, and then when he left, looked at me and was like, you better behave yourself. And I'm like, I am. Like, I, I can't flirt anyway. Like, my idea of flirting is, hey, can you pass the ketchup? <laughs> I have no ability. So, he's like, okay. He's laughing at me because he knows I'm a spaz. So, the plumber comes back with my girlfriend, Alicia, here, who is from New York. Hi, I miss you, by the way. And she looks at him and she's like, oh, God, this is going to be trouble. And I'm like, I'm telling you, he's so good looking. And she's like, oh, my God. She's like, he's so your type. I'm like, I told you. So she leaves. Plumber leaves. You know, it's like two days later. My husband's like, I'm going to take you for a hamburger at this place that we haven't been to in like a year. And uh, it's like 30 minutes from my house. So I'm like, okay, like, I'll go for a ride for a hamburger. Yeah, because like, I'm fat. I like to eat. So we're sitting there, and we're eating, and all of a sudden, this really tall Spanish bearded guy comes walking over to our table, and I'm just like, instantly, I, like, ostrich, like, boop. <laughs> I'm like, holy shit. And he starts talking to my husband, and then I realize, oh, it's the plumber. Oh, thank God. God and my husband like they talk whatever and then he leaves and my husband looks at me and he's like why are you all nervous you think you know him from somewhere and I'm like he's the plumber and he's like yeah he's like you look like you were nervous I was like I was you know my like my husband's bearded and tall like and tatted up like that's my type I go for tatted up bearded dudes like I can't help myself so he's like, you think you know him from somewhere? I'm like, no, I swear I don't know him. Like, I'm, I've am i only seen him that one time he came to the house. So well, he's laughing at me. He thinks this is hysterical. I'm like, this is not funny in any way, shape, or form. Like, this is completely embarrassing. So anyway, uh, fast forward to yesterday. Uh, I'm talking to Laura, my producer, and the plumber shows up. I have my two stepkids here. My mother-in-law shows up. My ex-mother-in-law shows up with my son. So now I have my ex-mother-in-law and three kids and the plumber. So my ex-mother-in-law looks at me and says, how are you, like, did you, didn't you date him once? And I'm like, wow, why does everybody say that? No, I've never, ever seen him before, except for the times he's come to the house to fix the bathroom. And... She's laughing because she knows, like, totally my type. So I'm talking to Laura, and I'm like, I'm going to flirt with him. And she's like, do it. So I'm like, okay, I should record it. I should have recorded it. It would have been epic. And I was like, how do I do it? And she's like, I, just offer him a drink. So as I'm walking outside to walk my mother-in-law, my ex-mother-in-law to the car, he stops me. My stepdaughter's standing right there, and he's like, did you do something different with your hair? And I'm like, yeah. And he's like, I really like it. It looks really pretty. And I'm like, Oh, I washed it and I blew dry it. <laughs> and my ex-mother-in-law shook her head and was just like, Oh, you're a mess. So I get her to her car and she's like, you? He was hitting on you. I was like, no. She, yeah, okay, so I ask Laura. And Laura's like, you're stupid. Um, flirt back. And I'm like, okay, I got this. I got this in the bag, right? So my husband calls, and he's like, are you flirting with the plumber? And I'm like, no. He's like, really? I'm like, well, I'm trying to. And he's like, yeah, good luck with that. Obviously, he knows that I am the worst person in the world to flirt. Like, I have no ability. So he's laughing. He thinks this is fucking hilarious. 
So I'm like, fuck you. I'm going to flirt with the plumber now. For real. I'll get advice from Laura. So Laura's like, oh, offer him a drink. And I'm like, but what if he says no? And she's like, well, then say, is there anything else I can do for you? And I'm like, awesome. I got this. I could totally fucking do this. So I offer him a drink. And he says, yes. And I'm like, oh, okay. I'll be right back with it. So I text Laura. I'm like, what the fuck do I do? And she's like, I don't ask him if he wants a hot or cold drink. I'm like, it's 100 degrees in Vegas. Like, he's definitely not going to want a hot drink. So I bring him a Capri Sun. Because, you know, I'm like a fucking five-year-old. And I enjoy Capri Sun. So I figure everybody else does too. So I bring him a Capri Sun. No ability. None. I, I failed. Epic, epically, I failed. Epic fail. Completely failed. So I'm like, what do I do now? And she's like, just be like, okay, well, you know, uh, I'll see you, you know, see you next time type stuff, whatever, blah, blah, blah. So the dog's barking like a fucking lunatic. So I sit on the floor with the dog and I'm like, you need to calm down. You need to, and I'm talking to the dog like an idiot. And I don't see him coming down the stairs to leave. Because I thought he was packing up his shit upstairs. And I'm petting the dog, calming her down. And I'm like, you are the biggest cock block ever. He heard me because he was right there coming down the stairs. And he's like, did you just, did you just say that? And I'm like, no, yes, possibly. And he just shook his head and was like, okay, well, I'll text you next week to come back out. And I'm like, wow. So I realized at that very moment that the silence is probably the best thing I can offer in a relationship. Um, because nothing good. I am awkward and inappropriate. And everything else. Like, it was horrible. Like, my husband is like, you're dumb. I'm like, I know. So, yeah. I am the worst flirt ever. And I don't even know I'm flirting. Like, apparently I do it unknowing. Like, if I know that I'm trying to flirt, it's all wrong. It happens like what happened yesterday. But, like, if I'm not trying to flirt, apparently I'm, like, um, like, it's a natural thing. So, if I try to do it, it comes off as creepy. And stupid. And like I was dropped on my fucking head. But if I do it and I'm like not trying. Like I'm just being like normal and stupid. It, it's better. So I think I'm going to try this again. On Monday when he comes back out. Um, I'm going to try not to flirt with him. And see what happens. Uh, oh, my husband does not have faith. That I can flirt properly. So, um, I don't think any of my friends do either, to be quite honest. But we're going to try it. We're going to see what happens. I know this is like the most random video ever. But, um, it was fucking fun. It was funny. Like, even my stepdaughter was just like, that was horrible. Like, that was, that was a train wreck. It was horrible. Anyway, that's me in a nutshell awkward anyway um I have to get up and get dressed because it's like fucking seven o'clock in the morning it's Christmas Eve I got shit to do but I wanted to share my ridiculous epic fail with the world because it's it's just this is my life (sighs) Merry Christmas Eve everybody enjoy their day I hope you all get what you want Um, I'll keep checking under my tree for a plumber. (laughs) I don't think my husband's going to get it for me. So, uh, yeah, I'll let you know how that works out. Bye. You know what?